Please get ready for a dictation of exercise 72 from Sir Kailash Chandra Magazine. 5 seconds. Start. The President has said that in the last 40 years we have progressed along this path illumined by Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru. We shall adhere to it come what may with the determination and courage instilled in us by Indira Gandhi. In my opinion, this is the time for all of us, whether belonging to that side or this side, irrespective of party affiliations, to rededicate ourselves to those basic fundamentals of our constitution. If we do that, we will be a united India. Not only will we command respect in the Committee of Nations, but the foundations will be such that nobody on the earth will be able to do any harm to us. I have one thing to say that our country is a continent and in this continent we have faced this year one of the severest droughts in hundred years. It is the prudent policy of having accumulated buffer stocks that in spite of setbacks that we have experienced, there has not been any starvation death. This is a tribute to the ingenuity of our policy of having created the buffer stocks. To my mind, there are one or two grey areas. One of the grey areas is our population explosion, which my friend Shri Prashant has also referred to. We may be doing what we are doing. For instance, 20 million acceptors of contraceptives and other things we have produced, but we have not evolved a national consensus on this issue. I spoke about the matter in different forms when the Prime Minister was also there. I told him that a national consensus on family welfare program must be 
evolved. I also told him that you have been calling meetings of the opposition parties quite often on different issues but to my mind the most important issue for which an all party meeting should be convened is to evolve a national policy on population.